Alright, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a little tip video for you. I wanted to talk about primer and moisturizer. A lot of people don't know to mix the two and they kind of layer them and... I live on a very busy road, so if you hear cars, sorry. A lot of people don't know to mix the two, they layer them. And for those of us who sadly have acne prone skin, this sometimes can be a problem. Using more product is sometimes worse. So what I like to do, and some of you have seen me do this in my videos, uh, is to mix my primer, <laughs> to mix my primer and my moisturizer together. The thing about this is you do have to find two products that are have that are the same base. So if you are using a water-based moisturizer, you probably want to use a water-based uh, primer. If you're using a silicone-based primer, like the regular Smashbox, it probably wouldn't go on as well. I haven't tried it before, but from my experience with foundations and moisturizers, some foundations don't do very well with this layered underneath. You should take care to look at the ingredients and see what works best for you. The reason I love this effect so much is because, one, it skips a step so you don't have to have that waiting time for your moisturizer to set in and then to add your primer on top of it. You just mix the two together and I find that it also gives a much more flawless finish and I'm using about a half ratio of what I would normally use if I were using the products by themselves. So what I mean by that is I'm using half as much moisturizer as, as I would use if I were to layer it and half as much primer as I were if I were to layer it. Does that make sense? I'm really only using the amount that I would use for one of the products in both. So I'm using half of what I would normally use. I would normally just dot a little bit on each area of my face and this also sets up your foundation so that it will stay in place better and I also find that it makes it glide on smoother than if I were to layer it on top of each other. I feel like when I layer it, it doesn't go on as smooth and it's going on top of more product. So I like to mix the two, skip a step, and have my foundation go on easier. And the great thing about this technique or trick that I'm telling you guys about is that you can really customize it. Sometimes I add my Pixi Flawless Primer, primer and this is more color correcting and a little bit more light infusing, so this will add a little bit of a glow and it can change the skin a little bit. So depending on what you want to do that day, you can really add things to it and change it up. Some days I add my L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer. This is a little bit too shimmery for an everyday basis. This would be for more of a very special event. And sometimes I mix in just a tiny little bit of my Stila Luminizer just on the outside of my cheekbones so that I don't have to then put it on top of my foundation later and I can skip a step. So I'll demonstrate right now and I will put a tiny little bit of the Pixi Primer on the right side of my face. And now I'm just going to mix all of those products in. And what I like to do is work it in one area first to warm it up and then spread it all over the skin. It's so the same thing down here. Warming it up and spreading it all over the skin, I find gives a much better coverage and effect than if you were to just start rubbing it in everywhere. So I'm doing the same thing here. And then the same thing here. And if any of you guys are like me and have very acne prone skin, you may want to look into investing in the Smashbox Primer. It is fabulous. It glides on very smoothly. It has a demi-matte finish, so it doesn't look super matte, but it will also help control oil throughout the day. It is a little bit expensive and kind of ridiculously ex like priced for what it is. I'm currently in the process of trying to find a cheaper alternative, but for the time being, I have not been able to. And yeah, so unfortunately I'm stuck with that right now, but I love the product, but if I find a cheaper alternative for you guys, I will definitely let you know. So that is the finish with just the primer and the moisturizer on, and my skin feels very supple and very dewy, and it feels very bouncy. Now I'm going to go into my foundation, I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like after everything's completed on top of this, and what a great effect it has. So I'm using the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua in the color, what is this? 50 beige. This color is a little bit too dark for me, so I do have to mix it with another foundation. Um, as you might have seen in my last video, I'm going to be mixing it with my MAC face and body in a lighter color. 
the same thing. I always put five dots in the around my face, and I'm going to be using MAC Face and Body in C1. So this is a very light foundation, and I do not need a lot of this. Cars. And I've been doing this technique for probably the past like two or three years, and I really like how it comes out. It's much faster, it's easier, and it's really great for people with acne prone skin because you are avoiding putting on tons and tons of product on your face and you're minimizing how much product you could potentially clog your pores with. So I really enjoy the benefits of using this technique. It's a great way to customize your makeup and I'm the kind of person who loves mixing things so I like playing with pigments, I like playing with mixing foundations and all sorts of things. So this is really fun for me to do in the morning and every day I change it up a little bit. Some days I don't use the um, the MAC face and body. Some days I use a BB cream or a sunscreen. It really depends on the day. So it's really fun and it's a great way to get more into makeup and customizing it how you see fit for your own needs. So this is the finished look after you apply your favorite foundation on top of your primer and moisturizer mix and now keep in mind I did use a water-based foundation for this so you would tend to probably want to use something that's oil free if you were using water-based primers and moisturizers uh, but play around with it see what works for your skin sometimes I experiment and it goes terribly wrong and I have a greasy face for the entire day but that's what you gotta do to find what works for you so if any of you guys try this out let me know in the comment bar down below and also don't forget to enter my giveaway I know the last video was very long in which I announced the rules for the giveaway so instead just leave a comment in the bar down below telling me what you want me to do for next I look Monday and whoever's comment I pick out randomly I will one do that I look like what are you doing? So the person's eye look that I pick out, I will one, be doing that eye look for Eye Look Monday, and two, I will also be giving that person the 22 set of NYX matte lipsticks from Amazon. All you have to do is be subscribed to my channel and leave that comment in the bar down below. And yeah, so hopefully a lot of you guys were entered because it is a huge deal. I love playing with the lipstick shades. They're beautifully pigmented and it's a really, really easy giveaway to enter. You don't have to go like tons of things. Just leave a comment telling me what eye look you want me to do for next, next week. The way will be open for two weeks. I'll be picking the winner then. And I will catch you guys later. I love you all so much. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy this weather. It is finally beautiful here out in Connecticut. So I am gonna go outside and enjoy the day. Hopefully you guys do too, and as always, bye.